This is example 12 from page 52 of the U1 textbook. And it says L1 has the equation y equals 12 plus 4x. So we've got the straight line here on the graph. And L2 has the equation y equals x squared. So there we go, the parabola. The diagram shows a sketch of L1 and L2 on the same axes. And the first part down says find the coordinates of P1 and P2, the points of intersection. So we're going to solve these two simultaneously by eliminating y. So we'll remember our notation for that one is first of all to label the equations and we could say sub 1 in equation 2 or y. So we're effectively setting them equal to each other. So 12 plus 4x equals x squared. So we're going to set this equal to 0 by taking 12 and taking 4x from both sides. So we've got 0 equals x squared minus 4x minus 12. We're going to factorise that. So in brackets that factorises as x minus 6 and x plus 2, giving us our values of x equals 6 and x equals minus 2. And the second part says, hence write down the solution to the inequality inequality 12 plus 4x is greater than x squared. So what we're actually asking in here is when is the graph of 12 plus 4x greater than the graph of y equals x squared. So this is the area in here where the straight line graph is above the quadratic. Now just translating that down to what values make that happen. Well it's in between our critical values here. So our final answer would be, for that to happen, x has to be greater than minus 2 and less than 6. Or in terms of set notation, x, remember the set where x is greater than minus 2 and less than 6.